Well, every high school diploma is a result of a lot of hard work, both by the student and those who encourage them along the way. And as we know, it's not always just a parent who takes on that task. So I'd like to welcome Sarah Levels with Franklin County Children's Services, as well as Shyla Smith, who's about to graduate from Marion Franklin High School. So welcome, ladies. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Congratulations, first of all. We're a few days away, um, but we'll start with Sarah. You work in the Emancipation Department with FCCS, so what exactly does your work entail? The Emancipation Department, our role is to help foster youth who are aging out of Franklin County Children's Services custody at 18, transition into adulthood and towards independence. Uh, we do that by making sure that they are learning and that we are teaching them the life skills that they'll need on this journey. Um, we also primarily want to make sure that they are linked with the appropriate resources to help them reach their goals. So for example, when we have a young person graduating from high school, going to college, our department will help with college prep. We help them with navigating, uh, applying for colleges, visiting colleges, uh, signing up for orientation, completing the FAFSA, which is the financial aid portion of college. There's a lot going on there, so we help them navigate that path. And that can be very difficult. Yeah, there is a yeah. lot you have to go through. Yes. Yes. And uh, how many young men and women do you serve every year? Our department annually will see 130 youth emancipating out of foster care. Um, but on top of that, we also assist youth who have aged out until the age of 21. They can seek our services for post-emancipation. Um, so that can range from uh, annually about 150 youth. So together, that's about 280 youth that our department is working to assist and support as they transition independence. And I do have to also promote, we contract with our community partner, COVA, to assist with this as well. And COVA is the Center of Vocational Alternatives. So they assist with supporting our youth as well in this transition. It takes transition. a village, it does, right? Yeah. It absolutely does. Okay, Shyla, you are one of the shining examples, of course. So you graduate this weekend, May 30th, from Marion Franklin. So how exactly did you prepare for this day? Um, I have a strong support system because it's very difficult for like high school years and without that I don't think I would like be where I am today. I've got to receive the scholarship and I participate in a lot of activities and like the Ohio Youth Advisory Board and the Franklin County Youth Advisory Board and that's like my whole support system. And you've also done things, you've taken it upon yourself, you've done an internship, right? And what was that in? Um, I, I actually graduated from um, Career Center for Hayes Career Center, the medical assisting program, and um, I internship at a doctor's office, Southwood Family Practice. Okay, so was that something that you, you maybe didn't see yourself doing before you got help? I mean, to kind of help you decide what you want to do with your life? I actually want to be a pediatrician, so that was like, the start of my career. Okay, pretty cool. All right, so what is next for you? Um, I plan to attend Wright State University, and after I get my degree, I want to open my own practice and have other foster youth intern, just like I did at the doctor's office I did. Okay, that's pretty cool. Was it hard for you, you know, going through kind of all these things? Because you had a lot on your plate as you're trying to graduate and focus on the goal still of graduation. Yeah, because I had a, like a lot of expectations from people, so it's good to have a support system. Okay, we do want to mention you received the four-year Jack Donahue College Scholarship. Now, unfortunately, our condolences, Mr. Donahue did pass away, but this is his legacy. This is how he continues to live on. So this is a big deal to receive this, right? Yeah, I feel very blessed and appreciative for receiving that That is amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, Sarah, I am sure that your job has many challenges, but I'm sure it's very rewarding. Yes. So what is that like when you see someone like Shyla reaching this goal? I just, it just warms my heart, to be honest with you, and it makes some of those difficult days a lot more bearable. This is why our social workers do what we do, is for moments like this to see our young people who have overcame so many obstacles and, and trauma in their past to reach these successful achievements in their life. And, and that is just wonderful. And how can the community help youth, help youth in need? Because I know we talk about it's a village. Right. It's not just organizations, but it is the community, right? It is the community. Um, we have a wonderful volunteers department. Uh, we also have a College Bound Mentor program. So if we have adults who are listening that would like to become a volunteer or a mentor, I encourage them to look on our website to get more information and contact our department. Um, we also, uh, volunteers donate, uh, give donations throughout the year in terms of gift cards or supplies. We do 
college care packages to our youth um, and, and folks donate for those care packages. So there's different ways that the community can contribute. And so we encourage them to, to seek out that information and contact us. Okay, we definitely can tell it's all working. So yeah. thank you, congratulations thank again. You. And we have the website and phone number up on screen. So thank you. Great, thank you. Thank you.